The Safari Express is the fastest locomotive in the wilderness, but not fast enough to deliver all of the godly messages Ranger Reggie wants to distribute to his campers. So he's enlisted the help of his friend, the infamous inventor and engineer Jasper J. Johnson Jr. to see just how quickly he can make her fly down the rails. So let's stoke up the engine, crank up the speed and climb aboard as we deliver those inspiring letters aboard the Safari Express. Safari Express! Mr. Johnson! Mr. Johnson! Mr. Johnson! Oh, you doesn't have to call me Johnson. Oh. My name is Jasper J. Johnson Jr. But you can call me Jasper, or you could call me Junior, or you could call me J. Or you could call me JJ, or you could call me JJJ, or you could call me JJJ Jr. But you doesn't have to call me Johnson. <laughs> Uh, may I call, Mr. Oh, good. J? <laughs> uh, all right. You got some more get well cards, sir. Oh. You were so sick last week. Well, actually, I'm feeling much better now, Watson. Wow, these get well cards work miracles. Oh, no, no. The get well cards did make me feel really good inside, but actually my healing came a lot from the, the word of God. Uh, what do you mean, sir? <laughs> I'm about to show you. Turn that crank and lower that Bible blimp. <laughs> yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. Oh, you know that have to call me Johnson. My name is Jasper J. Johnson, Jr. But you can call me Jasper, or you can call me Junior, or you can call me Jay, or you can call me JJ, or you can call me JJJ, or you can call me JJJ, Junior. But you know that have to call me Johnson. <laughs> Sorry, I, I will call you Mr. J. Oh, that's a great idea. All right, let's see what we've got here. Oh, I just love getting letters. Oh, look at this. This is great. It's from Paul's letter to the Ephesian church. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. The full armor of God? What is the full armor of God? Well, why don't I show you? In order to demonstrate this, I am going to need a mighty warrior to help me out. Is there anybody who would like to help me out out there? Anybody, 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 you, sir, right here. Come on up. What's your name? What is it, Chase? Chase? All right, let's hear it for Chase. All right, Chase, you stand right here by me. And, Watson, I want you to go over to that trunk. All right. All right. Now, oh, there's all sorts I, of cool stuff. I know. There. I want you to just take out the things that I tell you that I read from the Bible, okay? All right. All right. Now, the Word of God tells us to put on the full armor of God, right? So let's see what that means. Listen to what it tells us. Stand firm, then, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist with the breastplate of righteousness in place. Here's the breastplate. Can you put that on your All right, there you go, oh, Chase. There, and here's there you the go. Belt. Face the kids you so they can take a look at you. There you go. Oh, good. I will suit you up. All right, now we got to get the belt of truth to hold the breastplate in place. Here's the belt of truth. Watch your arms. And okay, you, you look stay. great, Chase. That's excellent. Now, the breastplate of righteousness is there to protect his heart. Aha, uh -huh, because if we do what is right, in the eyes of God, it protects us from wanting to do what is wrong. Right, and then your heart can be filled with righteousness. And what about the belt, sir? Well, the belt represents God's truth. And wrapping ourselves in God's truth keeps us close to Jesus. Oh, I like that. Uh, what's next? Well, the Bible says to have your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Look at these gospel shoes. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Yeah, there you go. On. Slip those on and put your gospel shoes on. There you go. Oh, All right. The Bible says, okay, that's good. That's perfect. Now, you will be showing others God's good news and his gospel with every step that you take. <laughs> oh, that sure is swell. Uh, what now, sir? Okay, next it says, take up the shield of faith, which with, with which you can extinguish all of the flaming arrows of the evil one. That makes perfect sense with the faith that God gives us. It protects us from all of Satan's lies. All right, Chase, are you ready for more? Awesome. 
take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Oh, here's your helmet. Here's your helmet. Oh, isn't it fit? Whoop. Hold still. There you go. <laughs> and here's your sword. <laughs> All right. So why, does, why does the helmet represent salvation? Well, you see, Watson, sometimes Satan tries to make us doubt in our minds that God truly loves us enough to save us. Oh, that Satan is so slippery. That's right. But the helmet protects our mind. No matter what lies we hear, we always know in our mind that God is with us. Oh, and, and with the sword, we can chase Satan away, right, sir? Precisely. There's no better weapon against Satan than the word of God. Yeah, Satan tries to trick us with all of his tricks and lies. That's true, but we know that every word in the Bible is true, and Satan cannot stand against the truth of God's word. He has to run for the hills. Okay. Well, you look like a really mighty warrior of God. Yeah, do you look great, Chase. All right, now let's review before we put all this stuff away. So first of all, we have the truth wrapped around Chase's body. Uh, the yes. truth of God is wrapped around him. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to take that off, and, and we'll go over everything as we take it off. Okay, yes. good. And with the breastplate of righteousness, your heart is protected. Okay. You show others Jesus with every step you take because you're wearing the gospel shoes. So you yes. can take those off and put yes. your regular shoes back on. Right, and with your faith, you're protected from all attacks from Satan. And you know in your mind that you're saved by God because you have that helmet. Oh, yeah, hold on, rip your ear off. <laughs> and with the word, you can chase away Satan. There you go. Let's hear it for our mighty warrior, Chase. Uh, wonderful. Thank job. you, buddy. Be careful. Woo. Nice job. He's kind of a kangaroo warrior there. Wow. All right. Great. Good job, Chase. You did very well. All right. Now, kids. You all have that same armor, that same equipment, and those same weapons available to you. Yes, you may not have a trunk of goodies like these, but we can all put on God's spiritual armor by reading God's word and praying. That's right. And now it's time to find out which animal is strong like a warrior. It's creature feature time! Move it, move it. Rhyme, Watson. All right. So much stronger than the rest, he beats his fist upon his chest. What do you think it is? A gorilla? Uh, gorilla? Yeah. You think it's a gorilla? It, it is it a is gorilla. gorilla. Good <laughs> guessing there, kids. Gorillas are super strong. Gorillas are very strong. And you know what, Watson? You're very strong, too. Yeah. I think you're strong enough to ride that scripture cycle till you reach Kazinga. Yes, sir. All right, kids. Help him out. Shout out when you get there. All right. All right. How's he doing? How's he doing? Yeah? Closer? Closer. Whoa. Go for it, Watson. <laughs> You did it! You did it, Watson! Excellent job! Oh, I like this letter, because you know what? This letter is from the first letter by the Apostle Peter. Huh. We've been reading a lot of letters from Paul, but this one is from Peter. Let's see what it says. And the God of all grace, who called you to eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong and steadfast. Of course, it's Jesus who makes us strong. Just like the apostles, we can all rely on him to restore our strength. Sir, yes. may I lead the campus code? I think that's a great idea. Everyone stand to your feet, raise your right hand, and recite it with us. I, I will love, love God, God with all my heart. heart. I will love my neighbor as myself. I will be a light wherever I go. Wonderful. Well, let's see if Mr. Brian's strong enough to lead us in the camper song. Come on up, Mr. Brian. Right, we got the well, camper. I need some helpers first, so I need someone who can raise our flag for us first. How about you? Will you help me raise our flag, Emily? Yeah. Come on and raise our flag. And who is this to? To the? Gorilla. To the gorilla, exactly. Raise it up for right. us. He's awesome. a handsome fella. Very nice, and you can have a seat. Thank you very much. And then I need someone to come be our engineer and our director. Do you want to help me out? Awesome. Right. Come on up, sir. Hello, hello. There you go. Oh, oh, step. Step. Found there you it. Go, and there's your hat. And then what did we just learn about? We learned about who? Gorilla. The gorilla. And it said he beats upon his chest. So try that for us. Demonstrate. All right, now you guys try. Very nice. And then he makes kind of what noise? 
Ooh, he kind of like he kind of growls. So, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> 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 All right, very nice. All right, can you help us get this train started? All right, here we go, Robbie. Here we go, guys. <laughs> why sometimes it helps if we do it a little bit faster. Okay, you think but we can handle it? It's, it's getting pretty long, can we do it? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Let's go super Robbie, fast. Can we go a little bit faster? Sure. All right, here we go. Watson. Great job, sir. Thanks for helping us out.